that excitement in suburbia, <laughs> Roger begins with Steve Martin's new picture, Dead Men Don't Wear Plaid. Well, this movie is a satire on private eye movies, which became really popular after the Maltese Falcon in 1941, and they were big all through the 1940s. In fact, sometimes it seems like they've never been gone. <laughs> Each year we get a couple of remakes, tributes, satires, or modernizations of private eye movies. But in Steve Martin's new comedy, Dead Men Don't Wear Plaid, Satire and tribute aren't enough. We even see actual scenes from old Hollywood detective classics. Scenes that put Martin right in there with stars like Humphrey Bogart. The movie opens, as a lot of private eye movies open, with a hero narrating his own story. And here's Martin as private detective Rigby Reardon waiting in his office for his next case. The movie's in black and white. It was a quiet day at the Rigby Reardon Detective Agency. I had a hangover and business was so slow I was rereading old newspapers. I was even thinking of closing up the office for a few days, when all of a sudden... Mr. Reardon? That's right. My... My name? years in the business, I'd never seen anything like her. That's Rachel Ward as the faint-hearted client. You might remember her from Sharky's Machine, Burt Reynolds' last picture. She hires Steve Martin to investigate the death of her father, and he plunges into a labyrinth of clues, characters, faults, leads, and ambushes. And he also plunges into actual old movies. What the film does is take scenes from old movies, real movies, involving famous stars, and then intercut Steve Martin with the old footage. For example, they might have a shot of Humphrey Bogart, another shot showing Martin looking like he's talking to Bogart. It's pretty convincing sometimes. In this scene, for example, Martin plays opposite Burt Lancaster in The Killers, a movie made in 1946. Swede wasn't living in luxury. As a matter of fact, for a moment, I thought he wasn't living at all. Swede? Sorry, sweet. I thought you had been murdered. Come on, wake up. Come on, sweet. You need a cup of my java. Bit. Once again, old private eye movies, they always believed you could take care of anything with a jolt of black coffee. The or method a gun. Of, yeah. Or a gun, or a shot of whiskey, right? Or a pretty dame. <laughs> the method of cutting back and forth between Steve Martin and the old movies in this movie is fairly well done on the editing level. It sometimes really does look as if Martin is right there in scenes with actors like Burt Lancaster, Humphrey Bogart, Ingrid Bergman, Lana Turner, Veronica Lake, and on and on, Jimmy Cagney. Mm -hmm. But the result isn't always very effective. There's a curiously flat quality as they cut back and forth between Martin's new dialogue and lines that were first said 30 or 40 years ago. The dialogue doesn't have the timing and toughness of real life conversational give and take. Dead Men Don't Wear Plaid was an interesting idea, I guess. It might have made a good short subject, but as an approach to a full-length motion picture, it gets awfully long, slow, and repetitive. It does have some funny moments. I think I laughed out loud three or four times, mm -hmm. but uh, basically... A real long uh, movie based on a real small idea. I think so too. This is one of those things where you got the feeling the two guys got together and said, wouldn't it be mm -hmm. cute if we did this? Mm -hmm. And what they really should have done is, why don't we come up with a very good story before we start to get tricky with the yeah. little gimmicks? Yeah. 
the story here. We don't care whether the, the murder is solved. And I don't think that they, anybody in the film seems to care. Then they wind up with switching into some crazy and fairly tired old Nazi bit mm -hmm. jokes. Um, they needed a, an actual mystery and it's not, story Let me clear here. this up now. It's not so much that you want a story so that we can find out what the solution is, but you want a story so it doesn't seem as if all the clips from old movies are just thrown in as a gimmick. Yeah, I mean, and, thrown in, and also thrown in at random, basically, I think, from the library of uh, Universal Pictures, which mm -hmm. produced the film. Uh, I don't think that... Uh, also, I, th I must say, I sort of got to resent. When I saw the old clips, I thought how marvelous the old actors were, mm -hmm. Bogart, Cagney, and uh, Alan Ladd. And then I thought, I'm looking at this new stuff, and I think this doesn't hold a candle to the old stuff. And I sort of begin to resent almost the use of the old material, I as if they want to have uh, what they call borrowed interest. You know, Steve Martin has made the jerk pennies from heaven now this movie. All still, gimmick films. He still hasn't made a film that really makes use of his comic talent. I agree with you. No, that. for Dead Men Don't Wear Plaid, the movie where Steve Martin plays a private eye in scenes lifted from old crime movies. The movie has a few funny moments, but once we get the basic idea, it just repeats itself.